Hey dinosaurs, exciting video today. So we are basically at basement dino dungeon right over here. And today we're gonna do a couple of things. We will be unboxing uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten different beast of Mesozoic Ceratopsians. We have one opened already. We're gonna place every single collector's card into our cards album right over here and then we're gonna be placing them into our shelf together and then i'm gonna show you guys a preview of a t-rex that i'm sculpting and repainting okay this is actually the omega 9 so pretty exciting video stay tuned subscribe if you haven't do so and make sure you watch the entire video okay so let's get started Alright, let's get started. So basically, I've purchased 10 different Ceratopsians from Beast of Mesozoic Collection. And I'm super happy that they have arrived. And I've actually opened this in our previous video, which is a Nasudo Ceratops. And every single um, figure actually comes with a card. So we're going to place this collector's card into our album right over here together so we're gonna have a full collection okay so hopefully this is oh my goodness this is actually too big so i guess we have to place it right over here okay this is fine we just can't place it on top of um this row right over here so yes this is our first card right over here and it says the pseudoceratops is our large nosed horned face okay so this is our first figure. Let's open up another figure. Let's open this Chasmosaurus, okay? So this is actually my second Chasmosaurus figure. So let's open this up. We just have to remove this sleeve. Um, and then we're gonna take a box cutter to just cut this open. Get this out. Okay, let's remove the box. And let's remove this figure from its box, okay? Okay, as I've mentioned, this is actually my second Chasmosaurus. My first Chasmosaurus is actually a Jurassic Park figure. So as you guys can see, this is the Chasmosaurus from Beast of Mesozoic. The paintwork is just amazing. It looks beautiful. There's plenty of articulation. You have to pop in the tail so you're able to move the body, the legs and the many points of articulation in the knee, in the lower foot yeah, it looks awesome let's take a look at this fact card right over here Chasmosaurus is actually known as the opening lizard and it was found during the late Cretaceous period alright and take a look at this beautiful illustration as compared to the figure looks amazing let's place this over here and let's do a quick comparison with the Nasudo Ceratops. Okay, so Chasmosaurus, this is known as the opening lizard. I'll place this over here and let's choose another figure to unbox. Let's go with the Diablo Ceratops, okay? Let's take a look at this over here. All right, so this is the Diablo Ceratops. Beautiful figure. Wow, take a look at this amazing paint work. Of course, you have a checklist right behind. Okay, so let's get this out. Okay, so I've actually cut the ties loose. And let's just remove this. And let's take a look at the checklist right behind. So we have basically purchased the entire Wave 1 um, Ceratopsians right over here. And I think they are actually producing um, a collection of um, Tyrannosaurs that will be incredible so you need to actually pop the tail in which you have to use quite a large amount of force and it's gonna be difficult for me to push it right in from this angle yeah you have to use plenty of force to just pop it right in as you guys can see I'm struggling so I'll need to find another angle Okay, so this is our Diablo Ceratops. It looks beautiful. As you guys can see, the base color is actually a dark shade of um, brown with some nice, you know, turquoise color right below, or should I call it two? Very nice stripes across the body. 
and the paint work on um, the shield is amazing. Okay, there's articulation on the lower jaw. You're able to move the neck, the entire legs and the feet. So if you check out the detailing on this figure, it's pretty amazing as well. You can see scales of different sizes and shapes right over here across the entire body. Of course, you can rotate the tail. The color of the tail from to the body is just amazingly done. Okay, so you can basically rotate the entire hind legs, the front legs as well. Okay, let's take a look at the fact card. Diablo Ceratops is basically known as the Devil Horned Face, okay? And it was found in late Cretaceous period from USA, um, Utah region. Diablo Ceratops is one of the oldest known ceratopsids. It sheds its wetland habitat with many other dinosaurs including Hadrosaurs, Ankylosaurs, and Pachycephalosaurs. Cool. Let's play this. Let's place this card into its album right over here. Okay, so we have basically three cards right over here. So I'll place the Diablo Ceratops over here and let's choose another figure to unbox. I'll go with the Centrosaurus. Okay, let's go. Oops, right over here. So let's open this up right now. Okay guys, the Centrosaurus is out from its box. As you guys can see, the colors are pretty similar to the Diablo Ceratops in terms of the shades of brown. And what I like about this figure is the pebbling done on its body. You can see these little bumps across the body, nicely painted in gray tones. Yeah, and it's very contrasting with the brown shades. So overall, this is a beautiful figure. Of course, you can rotate the head. Um, the lower jaw can be moved. The hind legs can be rotated, like the front legs as well. Plenty of articulation similar to um, all the other ceratopsians. Of course, you can rotate the tail as well. Okay, let's take a look at the illustration and the facts about this dinosaur. So beautiful illustration of the Centrosaurus standing on this um, rock over here. Looks amazing. If you take a look at this, it is known as the pointed lizard. The length is 6 meters long. It was discovered during the late Cretaceous period in um, Alberta. I think that is Canada, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Centrosaurus was a herd animal. It's, it's evidenced by its vast bone beds that have been found. Okay, beautiful card. Let's place this into our album right over here. Okay. This will probably block some of um, the cut in front. So we have four cuts right over here. Let's choose another figure to actually unbox. I'm not too sure whether I should be placing um, this figures at Basement Dino Dungeon or Level 3 Colossus. Probably Level 3 Colossus. Next figures, let's take a look at... Wow, what is that? That figure over there is beautiful. Okay, let's, let's just take a look at this. What is this figure? From this, I can't really tell. Is this like Styracosaurus? Probably. I'm not too sure. Yes, should be Styracosaurus. So let's open this. I think the sleeve is missing. So let's unbox this. Okay, so this is the Styracosaurus, which you guys should be very familiar with. But let's do a recap for now. We have Chasmosaurus so far. The Pseudoceratops. Diabloceratops, Centrosaurus, and right now we are looking at probably the biggest, not too sure, I think so. This is like one of the biggest so far in this collection, Styracosaurus, and I love this color scheme guys. This color scheme is really colorful, it has a very vibrant look and feel, and I feel it looks, or it has a tribal feel to it, yeah, this paintwork. A very African kind of um, tribal feel, which is amazing. I love it. Let's take a look at some facts about this. Spiked lizard, you guys should have known this. Location, Dinosaur Park Formation, Alberta. Late Cretaceous period. So basically, you can see this frill right here. It's just amazing. I love the paint work across the frill and uh, this entire crown. It reminds me of the patterns from a peacock. Yeah, it looks amazing. 
so basically i don't think you can rotate the entire head for this the legs definitely you can rotate them beautifully painted i think all of them are manually painted very well done super amazing you can see some creases skin folds right across the body the muscle definition is pretty well done but like feet i wouldn't call them that <laughs> okay nice pebbling done across the entire body with scales of different sizes it just look amazing where is our cut album okay so so far we have um let's see we have four cards and i'm gonna place the styracosaurus right over here so so far we have reviewed five of these figures so let's choose another one to review i am going with triceratops right now okay take a look at this beautiful sleeve oh my goodness the paint work on this i mean the illustration is just incredible let's open this up let's get this up from his box we need to cut all the ties loose okay so let's do it all right triceratops is out from its box and you guys should be super familiar with Triceratops. I think we have plenty of Triceratops figures um, in our basement dino dungeon shelf, okay? We have plenty of them, but this is definitely one of the best ones you can ever find for a Triceratops, okay? But first, let's take a look at the entire paint scheme right over here. You can see the base color is actually a mix of dark I would call this black versus like, you know, beige color. So it's very nice with like tints of blue across the body. And the frill and the crest, I mean, not the frill, this crown right over here is actually nicely painted in black paints um, with, you know, tints of um, light browns across the, the face and the snout. So it's very well done. Even the horns are nicely painted. Very nice pebbling done across the entire body. The detailing of this figure, I mean, with similarly to the rest, are very well done. But you can't move the two portions of the body as compared to, for example, um, Diablo Ceratops. You can actually move um, the two portions of the body. But this is more or less fixed because this is pretty tough. But you can actually move the neck easily. The legs can be rotated as well, similar to um, other figures. The tail is pretty small as compared to the other Ceratopsians, as you guys can see. But very nicely done, I love it. So let's take a look at the illustration. Wow, incredible illustration. Triceratops just like, you know, standing on its um, platform right over here. Just looking out and looking majestic. Yep. All right. So let's place this card into our album right over here so if you take a look it looks amazing yeah it looks amazing totally amazing right over here okay so let's choose another figure to unbox i am going to pick you know the cedricosaurus to me it doesn't really look like a sap options oops my coke zero is over here let me take a sip okay let's choose zuni ceratops for our next unboxing okay okay let me reach out and get the zuni ceratops this looks like a smaller figure i'm not too sure of the size comparison i've not done my research on that yet but basically this looks like the smallest of them all so let's get the sleeve out from the box first okay you need to cut loose the tapes over here so you get the sleeve out. I'm definitely keeping the sleeves, but I don't I don't think I'll be keeping the boxes because I'm running out of space at home. So most likely I'll be throwing the boxes away. I'm sorry for that, but I'll be displaying all the figures nicely in you know the Jurassic, not Jurassic World Midlands, but the level three colossus. So let's get this figure out. Okay, Zuni Ceratops, this is probably my first ever Zuni Ceratops figure. So let's take a look at the facts first. So basically, it is known as the Zuni Haunt Face. It was discovered in New Mexico from the late Cretaceous period. Alright, 
it is much smaller and more primitive than its descendants. Okay, so Sunniceratops may be a link between Protoceratopsids and Ceratopsids. Beautiful illustration once again, but not as detailed as the previous one which we have seen. So let's take a look at this um, beautiful paint scheme. I love this paint scheme. This paint scheme has to be my second most favorite after the Styracosaurus. What about you guys? Let me know down below. So as you guys can see, there are two connections between the body, the upper body and the lower body. And the base color is basically light shade of brown with beautiful stripes across the body with some blue tints right at the back of the tail and this looks amazing. This is probably going to give me some inspiration for my next repaint. The lower jaw is movable similarly to other figures and you can see there's a very nice weathered look on these two horns and this crown right here is beautifully painted with a lot of detailing done when it comes to the pebbling of the scaly scales. Very beautiful figure, really, really magnificent. This has to be, um, so far, I'll rate this as my second most favorite figure after the Styracosaurus. What about you guys? Let me know. And let's place this um, collector's card into our album. You'll need to place this on a new page cross it doesn't fit into the top row because this card is actually very big. So let's place this over here. So as you guys can see, we have six cards so far. I mean, seven cards so far. Let's choose another one to unbox. I'm going to go with Stichosaurus. All right, so let's go and pick this up. Okay, the sleeve has been removed. Okay, I'm gonna cut the tape loose, open the box, so, so basically based of Mesozoic, they have produced like raptors, but I'm not a huge fan of raptors, which is why I didn't purchase them, but they are coming out with um, um, Tyrannosaurus, and that is... Um, uh, definitely a must buy for me okay so i'm definitely going to get the tyrannosaurus so let's get this out oh my goodness take a look at the feathering done across um, the tail this is incredible okay the cytokosaurus is out from his box and this dinosaur right here is actually known as the parrot lizard because of its face facial structure right over here it definitely looks a little bit like a parrot. Um, to me at first, I didn't know this was actually classified under, I mean, as a ceratopsid, cause in terms of its appearance, physical appearance, it doesn't really look like a ceratopsid. I mean, if you compare them with, I mean, if you compare it with Styracosaurus, Triceratops, Chasmosaurus, it looks very different, but it is what it is. So this is, yeah. But overall, this is incredible. If you take a look at the tail, this is nice and flexible. And you can see very nicely done the feathers over here. Okay. The scaling, the detailing is incredible. I like this. Yep. So this is a pretty cool figure. But, you know, as I've mentioned, I actually prefer color scheme, which are slightly more vibrant, like this two over here. So let's move on to our next figure, but first let's place this card into um, our album. Let me just place this, the scissors and um, the pen knife over here. Let's place the album, let's place the card into our album. So yep, we have eight cards and eight figures. We are left with two more to unbox and let's go with the Medusa Ceratops. Yeah, this Ceratops has a very, very cool name. Do you guys know what is Medusa? Yeah, basically a mythical villain, I would say. Or I need to get this out from the box. Okay, this is the Medusa Ceratops. I think this is the largest figure. Not too sure, let's do a comparison. No, I think the Styracosaurus still wins it by a little, or should I say they are both very similar in size. Okay, 
Let's take a look at this figure. Wow, this paint work is nice. I love this color combination between the purple, the orange, and the yellow, and um, a top um, splash of like dark purple across the body. So it's really nice. Let's take a look at the illustration as well. Beautiful, as usual. Medusa Haunt Face. Not too sure why this is actually known as um, the Medusa Haunt Face. Medusa is a reference to Greek mythology, while its specific name, Loki, is from Norse mythology. Hmm. But it doesn't really look like a Medusa to me, probably because of the horns across this um, crown. Okay, maybe. Because it's like curvy. And um, possibly it resembles all those snakes on the Medusa head. So if you guys know, do drop some comments down below. As you guys can see, this body can be rotated pretty easily. Um, not so much for the Styracosaurus. Oh, you can actually turn this as well. So all of them can actually be rotated pretty easily. So this is very cool. Um, is there articulation on the jaw? Let me find out. I don't think so. Maybe. No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I, I'm able to close the jaw. Maybe it's too tight. Yeah, take a look at this. Beautifully done. You can see some nice splash of blue paint across the snout. Yeah, very nicely detailed. The eyes are actually painted very, very nicely. Perfectly done. Plenty of articulation, as, um, yeah, which is similar to all the other figures. Okay. So let's check it out. Medusa horned face up to 6 meters long. Discovered in Montana, USA from the late Cretaceous period. Once considered a Chasmosaurian. Okay, so let's place this card into our album right over here. Okay, let's go. So we have 8 cards so far. It Sarah options reviewed and um, let's see let's let's unbox our last one which is the proto ceratops let me reach out to this get the sleeve out from the box cut the box loose open this is our last figure of the day Right, so let's take a look at this. Wow, looks pretty amazing. Protoceratops. I didn't know Protoceratops is actually so big. Cross from Jurassic World, as you guys know. Um, all the Protoceratops are actually very small figures, so it is up to okay, it's pretty short 1.8 meters. So I'm not too sure why they have actually produced such a large figure for Protoceratops. So let's get this out from the box. Okay, our last figure of the day is actually a Protoceratops and this is known as the first haunt phase. I don't think I can remember every single one of their nicknames, but I'll try, okay? So, um, okay, I'll be really honest, I'm not a huge fan of this paint work. The, the straps across the body looks a little bit unpolished, but it is a nice figure. The head sculpt is beautiful, pretty big. Okay, but uh, I just feel the paint work is um, a little bit sloppy as compared to the rest. But you know, I have all love for beast of Mesozoic figures. But yeah, but I think this is, in terms of paint work, it is definitely not as um, elegant, I would say, as uh, compared to the rest of the figures. So I'll place the card into the sleeve and let's see whether we are able to do a recap on all these figures together. All right, so what is this? We have a Medusa Ceratops right over here. Chasmosaurus, a Pseudoceratops, Zuni Ceratops, Triceratops, Styracosaurus, Diablo Ceratops, um, Centrosaurus, 
Cytokosaurus and Protoceratops. Let's place all of them into our level 3 colossal shelf together, okay? Okay guys, so right now we are at level 3 colossus. So we are going to place all this beast of Mesozoic Ceratopsians into this shelf. So I basically kept this um, row of shelf empty for them. So let's just place them into the box together. All the big figures will go behind. I'll probably need to buy some, um, you know, um, stand, acrylic stands to actually allow the top, I mean the back row to actually stand out more. So yeah, let's place them all in together. I'll do a proper arrangement maybe later on after um, this video of course. You know, one hand holding the camera and the other hand arranging is, is really not easy. So, and we have very limited amount of space right over here because this table is just actually blocking me. So, let me just place this behind. Um, and yes, we are almost done. But we just need to place them, um, just need to arrange them properly. So, for now, this will do. So, we have basically catered a space for the Beast of Mesozoic figures. So, I'll probably place the sleeves behind to cover the wires over here. I'll probably place all the sleeves behind to create a nice background and I'll show you guys probably in my next video, okay? So stay tuned for that. All right, goodbye.